Welcome to this week's edition of Military News Review from our News and Current Affairs Department. It is a program that highlights major military events of the past week. <music> Defense Headquarters Abuja last week said the outcome of the ongoing investigations of the former General Officer Commanding 8th Division, Major General Hakim Otiki, over alleged diversion of over 400 million naira by five runaway soldiers in the division will be made public. The Acting Director of Defense Information, Kone Onyema Nwachiku, who stated this in Abuja during a press conference, said investigations are ongoing and Nigerians would be duly informed at the end. He noted that the Nigerian army began the quizzing of its former GOZ following the missing 400 million naira. Among the five soldiers are Corporal Gabriel Oluwani, Corporal Mohammed Aminu, Corporal Haruna Oluji Joshua, and Hayatuddin, who had been confirmed to have carted away a consignment containing the money while on an escort duty from Sokoto to Kaduna State in the first week of July. Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Tuko Bratai last week said the Nigerian Army is ever ready to carry out its constitutional duties for the economy of the nation to thrive. General Bratai made the statement when the acting executive chairman, Federal Inland Revenue Service, Mr. Babatunde Fowler, and his entourage paid him a court visit at the Army Headquarters, Abuja. He commended the efforts of the Revenue Service in improving the economy of the country, adding that with increasing revenue, various sectors and governors would flourish. Earlier, the acting executive chairman, Federal Inland Revenue Service, who lauded the achievements of the Nigerian Army in decimating Boko Haram terrorist group, expressed willingness of the revenue organization to support the Nigerian Army with reading materials to be used in different institutions of the Nigerian Army. The meeting ended with both parties exchanging souvenirs to consolidate on the already existing relationship between the Nigerian Army and Federal Inland Revenue Service. Last week, Family Home Front presented a 4,000 bed spaces and additional accommodation for staff of Nigerian Army University Bureau, Bernou State. The managing director, Family and Home Front, architect Femi Adewole said, the construction of hostel accommodation and the bed space where their contribution in support of the Nigerian Army successes recorded in the decimation of insurgency and also to aid Nigerian Army Institution of Higher Learning Bureau. Responding, the representative of the Chief of Army Staff, Chief of Policy and Plans, Army Headquarters, Lieutenant General Lamidia Deoshu, lauded the gesture and called for more deepened relations considering the housing needs of the Nigerian Army. Similarly, the Nigerian Army Headquarters also played host to the leadership of African Stewardship Magazine at the Army Headquarters Abuja. Leader of the delegation, Mr. Abraham Suleiman, noted that the magazine is to showcase the Nigerian military exploits in the crisis torn area and also achievements of the Nigerian Army in the Northeast. Reacting, the Chief of Policy and Plans, Army Headquarters, Lieutenant General Lamidia Deoshu, tasked them to be professional in the reportage of events having in mind the unity of the nation. The Commandant, Nigerian Military School Zaria, Brigadier General Mokhtar Bunza, last week said the school will continue to be a herb for national cohesion and valuable national asset. General Bunza, who made the disclosure at the Commandant's Award Night for 2018-2019 academic session held at the school in Zaria, Kaduna State, stated that the Nigerian Military School is a national asset and a herb for national cohesion and unity, which must be protected and preserved. The commandant observed that the success story of the school is endless, adding that the ex-boys have made tremendous contributions at national and international levels, both within and outside the military circle. General Bunza, who expressed satisfaction that the school has produced ex-boys, commended the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Bratai and his lieutenants for the untiring support and counsel that facilitated training in the Nigerian Military School. Speaking, the Special Guest of Honor, Commandant Armed Forces Command and Staff College Jaji, Air Vice Marshal Lawal Shitualao, appreciated the uniqueness of the school as the first secondary school in Nigeria to offer military training to young boys and urge the boys to be agents of change and good ambassadors of the school anywhere they found themselves. The depot, Nigerian Army Zaria, during the week past, cautioned prospective recruits seeking enlistment into the Nigerian Army to beware of fraudsters. 
the Assistant Director, Army Public Relations Depot, Nigerian Army Zaria. Major Sidney Mbaneme, who gave the warning in a statement made available to newsmen in Zaria, noted that these individuals fraudulently extort money from unsuspecting members of the public who are desperately ready to enlist into the Nigerian Army. He said investigations revealed that fraudsters promised their victims to replace recruits found with credentials and bank verification number irregularity with their names. Major Mbaneme warned the public to shun these unscrupulous individuals and report same to the nearest security agencies when noticed. He therefore said efforts are in progress to nab the food stars for proper investigation and prosecution. During the week under review, Nigerian Air Force rewarded with double promotion the aircraftman Bashir Umar, who found and returned a missing sum of 37,000 euros to the owner. The Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, during the special decoration ceremony and presentation of award organized to honor the aircraftman Bashir Umar at the Nigerian Air Force in Abuja, commended his uncommon act of integrity. At the ceremony that was well attended by his peers, friend and parents in Abuja, Air Marshal Abubakar, who described Umar's honesty as uncommon, patriotic and exemplary, urged Nigerians, especially the youths, to emulate such worthy gesture. He also applauded the leadership of the Nigerian Air Force for its decision to reward the airmen so as to encourage the other personnel of the service to continue to exemplify attitudes and behaviors that reflect Nigerian Air Force's core values of integrity, excellence and service delivery. Corporal Bashir Umar, who could not hide his joy, thanked Chief of the Air Staff for the honor. Corporal Bashir Umar was born on June 1, 1995, into the family of Malam Bashir Abdul Mumuni and Salamatu Aliu in Meha, local government area of Adamawa State. He was enlisted into the Nigerian Air Force on August 1, 2016, after basic military training at the National Air Defense Corps Ikeja, Lagos, and attached to Malam Aminu Kanu International Airport. Nigerian Air Force within the past week announced the death of two of its personnel killed by bandits in Kaduna State. A statement issued by the Director of Public Relations and Information, Nigerian Air Force, Air Commodore Ibikune Darmala in Abuja, stated that the deceased personnel, Flying Officer Abdurrahman Bayero and Aircraftman Seydou Bawa, were said to have been killed in an ambush by armed bandits at Kawampolewaya, Kaduna. According to the statement, troops of 271 Nigerian Air Force Detachment, Beningwari, encountered an ambush set up by the armed bandits at Kawampolewaya, about 20 kilometers from Beningwari, along the Kaduna Beningwari Road. The statement stated that the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Bubaka, on behalf of all officers and airmen, airwomen, and civilian staff of the Nigerian Air Force, commiserated with the families of the fallen heroes and prays that the Almighty grants your soul peaceful repose. He, however, urged all service personnel to remain resolute and continue to work assiduously in synergy with sister services, as well as other security agencies, to rid the Northwest of all criminal elements. Nigerian Army, during the week under review, graduated 259 cadets of Director Service Corps from Nigerian Army School of Infantry, NASI, Jaji Kaduna State. While the new officers were conferred with the rank of Lieutenant in the Nigerian Army by the Chief of Defense Staff, General Gabriel Olonishaki, he charged them to brace up to the service of the fatherland, saying that their preparedness to contribute to national security and defense of the territorial integrity of Nigeria was expected to be at a higher level. He also advised them to demonstrate high level of discipline and shun every form of misconduct in the discharge of their constitutional responsibilities at all times. The CDS also admonished the newly commissioned officers to understand and abide by the extant condition of service of the armed forces, assuring them that they would be exposed to further training. He added that the entry of the new officers into the armed forces was significant, considering the various security challenges facing the country at the moment. Newly appointed Indian Chief of the Naval Staff, Admiral Karambir Singh, last week expressed his readiness to strengthen the existing bilateral cooperation between the Indian and the Nigerian navies. This was disclosed in a statement issued by the Director of Information, Nigerian Navy, Commodore Suleiman Dahu in Abuja. According to the statement, in a letter to the Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Ibokete Ibaz, Admiral Singh acknowledged the work done by his predecessors, which has helped to establish strong bonds of friendship between the two navies, 
as well as maritime partnership between the two countries. While acknowledging that much has been achieved in the relationship between the two navies, Admiral Singh pledged to explore new avenues for closer ties between the two navies. He however affirmed that the Indian Navy greatly values the relationship with their Nigerian counterpart, adding that the Indian Navy will continue to work closely with the Nigerian Navy in the collective pursuit of maritime security. Nigerian Army during the past week expressed readiness to work with governments at all levels to subdue the security challenges bedeviling the country. The new General Officer Commanding GOC 2 Division of the Nigerian Army Ibadan, Major General Anthony Omozoje, gave the assurance during the courtesy visit to Governor Sheyi Makinde in his office at Agodi Ibadan. He assured the governor of the readiness of his division to continue to participate fully in creating an enabling environment for the government to function. General Omozoje also noted that the command would improve on what his predecessor did and promised to live up to the expectations required of him. He therefore solicited the governor's support in order to make the division achieve the maintenance of peace and harmony in the state.